This is my first time filming a video in a while, so bear with me. But today I'm going to be reviewing Greenlight by Benjamin Stevenson. Now, I was sent this book from Penguin in exchange for an honest review. It's the first book I've requested in a while because honestly, as soon as I got the email about it, I was like, I need to read this book. I am obsessed with true crime podcasts. I absolutely love them. I'm all about them. Serial was one of the first ones I ever listened to. It was amazing. I'm currently listening to, I can't remember what it's called right now, but the Australian True Crime files on Lynette Dawson which is really interesting. I've listened to a few others and I love them and this is kind of marketed as like serial but in a book form and I was like okay yes please I want to read that. I don't often read true crime books. I don't really like them. I find that listening to them or watching them on TV are really my go-to form for that media but for some reason this book was exactly what I wanted to read and I was not disappointed. So this book features Jack Quick who is doing a You documentary on a murder. So Jack's documentary goes off the play that a killer, Curtis, was convicted on flimsy evidence and that he may not have even killed this person. Sound familiar? Any serial listeners out there? So he does this whole documentary of, you know, reasons why that Curtis actually may be innocent and the whole uh, killer might be out there and the whole flimsy evidence of the police work and everything like that. And it gets to the last episode and just as it's about to air, Jack finds a piece of evidence that may show that Curtis is guilty after all, but rather than showing that and bringing that to the police's attention or anything like that, he doesn't want to, I guess, risk his documentary. So he just kind of hides the evidence and the documentary goes out into the world. Due to public outcry, Curtis's trial is revisited and Curtis is let free. But now Jack has to deal with the consequences that maybe he just let a killer walk free and he may strike again. So Jack makes it his own mission to find out who killed this person and if it was Curtis or if it was somebody else. I love this book. I love the concept behind it and the way it was written was really interesting. This author has such a way with words and storytelling. It was really interesting. It kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time while reading it. I think I read this book in two days and that's a pretty big feat for me at the minute because I haven't been reading much and this book is quite thick as you can see. This book is also Australian which is also a plus me. I just love reading Australian books and supporting Australian authors. And now whilst I did guess a little of the twists in this book, I did not guess the majority of them, especially the end twists. Like you think you have it and then you are 100% sure you have it and then you're like, mm, nah, didn't see that one coming at all. This is what this book does and it does it so good. I am yet to find one person who saw that twist at the end there? That's how good this twist was. Green Light was well written. It was really well done. And I think if you love true crime, if you like listening to it, but you haven't really read true crime books before, or if it just sounds interesting to you, then I would really, really recommend this one. I was blown away by how much I actually loved it. And it really lived up to its hype and the story behind it. I will also definitely be looking to see if Benjamin Stevenson has any other work out. I believe it may be his only debut novel though. So he's definitely going going to be an author that I'm going to be on the lookout for. Overall, I would rate Greenlight a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I highly enjoyed this one. Let me know if you're going to be picking up Greenlight or what you've read recently in the comments down below. I haven't read much lately, so I'd love to hear what you're reading and maybe it'll inspire me to pick up some more books shortly. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hopefully it won't be too long. <laughs> Bye!